Hello everyone and welcome to PHD Studios. Today we'll be doing a unboxing and first look at the Hobo Light Micro. Now they did have the Mini, which at the time when I asked them, can you send me your smallest light? Uh, they had the Mini, but now they came out with the Micro. So I'm pretty interested in seeing what this looks like. And before we begin, I thought I would just do a quick wrist check here. This is the old but new Momentum C Quartz 30. Now this was originally a Chronosport. Momentum used to own Chronosport. Thought he would re-release this. This is like the Magnum PI watch from 1980 to 1983 before he switched to Rolex. And then on my my right wrist is the 40th anniversary G-Shock Square, the DW5040 PG, uh, in homage to the original DW5000C with some of the little little 40th anniversary hints here, all metal case, gold, got the little uh, star on the pusher here, uh, beautiful watch here. Both of these watches I will be taking to Europe with me, but let's start the unboxing now. All right, so packaging's always been really nice with Hobolite. Uh, they, like Apple, you know, these things make a difference. You travel with these things, you want the kits to be nice and protective, but as well, you want it to look sexy. And so this is a nice size. Now, as a size comparison, here is my favorite Aperture MC 4 light kit. And of course, you get four lights in here, but this is the size of this. Look how tiny this kit is here. Look how small this is. And I also have, this is their Mini. And so this is mini, so let's move it out of the way here. This is the mini and this is the micro. Look how much smaller this kit here is. Now we are talking about a 20 watt light versus an eight watt light, but you know, for a lot of content creators, if you need a desktop solution, I think that's probably pretty much what this should be, a desktop solution. Oh, look how cute this kit is. Look at this. Look how small this light is here. And this is, wow, this is super light as well. Now let's just quickly, Let's look at the mini, all right? This is the mini, and this is the micro. Look at that size. It's so cute. So there's a size comparison. And then just for, for reference, those of you that like the Aperture MC, this is obviously this is flat, and uh, it's a very different kind. This is like basically a mini cob light, and this is like a panel light. So you can put modifiers on this. You can extend the range with the modifiers. We can add snoots, you can add barn doors, you can put diffusers and things like that. Well, this is a lot more limited, but just for sort of size comparison, this is what this is here. And this was the mini, and this is the micro. Maybe I'll just leave this over here. And so this is the light here. Um, definitely more limited in features. Uh, the mini here had a focusable uh, light here, where the micro looks like it can't. At least I can't figure out how to do it. This does move here, but I think this is probably just to remove this little... There we go, yeah, this is just to remove and it looks like maybe you can attach things to here, some modifiers, and that's what the button here is for. And this should basically work the same. Let's just, uh, again, as I always mention, good design. You don't need to explain how things work. So I think you long press this, there you go, see? Long press, it turns on, and there you go. And if you turn this, there you go. So that's your, your, your Kelvin. So you're going from 27 Kelvin 2700 Kelvin up to probably 5600. Oh, look at that, 60, 6500. So 2700 to 6500. And probably if you press it, there you go. If you press it, it jumps in tens, I guess, or hundreds. And then here's the light itself. There you go, 25, 50, 75, 100. Or if you want to fine tune, so all by 1%, which is nice. Some lights jump by 10% or 5%. This is, you can really fine tune uh, your the light intensity. And this is eight watts, but eight watts, so the Aperture MCs are five watts. So, and this is also a focused light with modifiers. So you can already tell even at 45% with this camera even here. So you can even go 1%. That's 1% brightness. Look at that. It's still pretty darn good. As I mentioned, this makes probably a good desktop solution uh, for content creators. And so super intuitive to use. And my guess is maybe long press on this and you start going to menus. There you go. So you have Bluetooth. And so this does have an app that you can use. So you can control all the features. You can have the fan turn on or off. You have your special effects, which I would never really use the special effects. And then language and other things. But the only other thing maybe I might play around with is maybe turning the fan on and off, but it's super quiet, like. You can barely hear that light, you can barely hear that. And so long press again, and then you turn this off. And one of the key features of the micro that's very different from the mini is that, let me see if I can figure this out here. 
There we go. So what is you have a little switch here? What's what is this? What does this do? What does this do? Look at that. Battery comes out. Isn't that cool? So if you need to kind of quickly swap out, I think it said at full intensity, you have 50 minutes of power, which is pretty darn good. And it looks like here you get um what is this? Let's just see this here. Oh, I see. So this is two batteries. And you can see this also has the same release mechanism that's on the body. So you release this. And there's one battery here. And then you release this size. You have another battery here. And then there you go. This right here is your USB-C in and out. So my assumption with in and out means that you can use this for in, meaning you are charging these two batteries, or you can use it for out, so you can output it to here, and you can output power from this to this if you need extended battery life. And they do have different uh, battery solutions. I think they do have like a V-mount battery that, that'll work for the Mini as well. But this is actually a really nice solution for a mobile solution. And I'm pretty sure that you can just leave this plugged in if you just want constant power. But the key of having something this tiny is the fact that you don't need to plug it in and you can use it. So 50, so you have, so you have 150 hours with these at full power, which I don't see people using full power. And then here you have your, your modifiers. So you have your little diffuser here to kind of soften the light. And yeah, it's magnetic, so it just automatically sticks on like this. And then you have your colored, oh, look at that. You have like a Fresnel filter here, which is cool. And then you have your colored gel filters, which are all, again, all magnetic. And you can just attach it to the front. And so you got some fun colors here. You got purple, you have pink, you have green. I probably wouldn't use, I probably would use maybe the blue and the red is probably the two I would use the most. But it's nice to have these filters here as well. And you also have your power adapter and your cable here, USB-C to C. And underneath this kit here, what else do you get? All right, and then you got your barn doors. And let's just attach the barn doors. It should just be a magnetic connection here. And then you could see in the front here, you could attach these filters right to the front as well so without having to use, without having to use uh, this here. So let's just see here. And look, it's all magnetic just connects the gap, which is different from this one here. This is not magnetic. With the mini one here, when you attach it here, you have to screw it down like this and attach it. And I always felt that this should have been magnetic. But this automatically, boom, magnetic. And now you can focus control. You can make a little slit this, you know, you can make a little slit this way like this, or you can pull this back, make a little slit like this, or you're just kind of focusing the light or you can open it up, all magnetic. Again, you can just take this off here. It's all swappable like that. Now you got the little diffuser in the front here or any of these colors. Let's, uh, you know what, just for fun, let's just see what the purple looks like. Here's purple, here's this, and let's uh, turn this on, long press, and turn this. Now it's on, 1%, 6,500. And now you have your purple light, which is really hard to tell because, you know, well, this is kind of a studio environment here, but that's supposed to be, that's purple right there with this gel filter. So that's pretty cool. And then what else did you get in the box here? Let's just long press, turn that off. Very intuitive. So it's nice that you get this case and then anything else in here? No, that's it. So that's everything you get in this case. And you do have a little, like a V mount connection here. So if you want to attach any of the attachments, Now this attachment here is from the from the mini kit, but it's still V mount, so it just basically clips on like this, like this, and you can attach this onto either you have quarter twenty or you can just put this onto a hot or cold shoe mount. And of course they have this one here as well, V mount, clip it in, and it's basically a ball head. And then you have either three eighths, and they probably give you a, a quarter twenty little adapter as well that you can put this onto onto whatever rigging you have. All right, so this is the kit here. So let's play with this a little bit. As I mentioned here, sort of the features here, this is an eight watt bicolor, so from 2700 to uh, 6500 Kelvin. CRI and TLCI rating of 96 plus, and you have this magnetic mount, detachable battery, and as I mentioned, a perfect solution for contact creators. Now on the mini kit here, I do have the little 
tripod, little tabletop tripods. If I attach this on like this, attach this light, tighten it up. You know, there's really beautiful light. You could pretty much just leave it on your desk. And if you have Zoom calls, you're streaming, or you just want some kind of a highlight in the background, you could just put these little filters on here and shine this up against the back wall and you got some cool lighting. You can use this as a key light. Look at that, really cool. And again, let's compare sizes here like this. This is really, this is really cool. I do like this. This is definitely strong enough, even in my studio, to use as a key light, especially when you can attach, especially when you attach this, um, this softbox kit here, like this, and you have these big softbox. I'll leave the link to my unboxing first impression of the mini. And so, so if you definitely want kind of a small studio solution, I would recommend getting the mini over the micro, but if you already have sort of a small studio, or even like a medium-sized studio solution, you have cob lights, you have panel lights, and you just want something a little bit smaller, a little bit more portable, and maybe a little bit more fun, and you can even kind of leave this in the shot because it looks so cool, then maybe the micro is the solution for you. So let's uh, go over to Studio A, and we will play around with this light. All right, so I am here in Studio A and you can see a little bit of the, the rigging here, but I do have the mini just, just over to my left here and I do have that big softbox on here. And so the closer the softbox is to you, the softer the light, where the further away. So you kind of want it close, so it's about a foot and a half and I can make sure that it's off camera, but I just wanted to show you and then my microphone is just right over here. But you can see how kind of boring the background is. So here is the mini right here, and I have the, the blue filter on. So let's turn this on here, and let's go, um, well, let's go full, full power here. Let's go 100%. You can see how it adds that little bit more interesting background. And then if I can put the little diffusers, you can see the sort of the circle. I can put the little diffuser on there so it softens it a little bit. And as well, here, let's just, that's with nothing, 100%. It's 100% there, and then put the little diffuser on there. Again, you can see how that softens it quite a bit. And I can even aim this kind of towards me, right? Just kind of from the back, so you can see the difference here. So here's without, like this, right? And then this is kind of up in behind like this. You can see sometimes you will have YouTubers putting the light in behind as a highlight. But as well, if you wanted to, you could have this kind of off camera this way to balance it. So this is nothing, right? So it's just a single light set up. And you can have a secondary light like this. But I wouldn't waste something as, as cool as this just as a little side light. You can maybe even use a big reflector or even like if I turn a lamp on right here. See, now that's just a lamp on my desk and that kind of fills in this side here. But sometimes you want a little bit more moody turn that off and then let's just say let's put the, the little blue filter on again here and then if you want to you can even have a little blue, blue filter coming off from the side this way here what do you think about that that looks kind of cool doesn't it and then with the different colors let's uh, let's use red right have a little bit of red coming this way or you can have red kind of aimed towards the back like this a little bit of different colors and actually on my desk I also have a blue light so if I see what happens with blue and red look at that so now you have a mixture of blue and red adds a little bit of dimension to your video and let's just see what happens if I point this even towards me and see now you got a little bit of red coming in behind so you could do a lot of fun things with this little micro light if you are using this meaning if you are in a room where there is like daylight then you could definitely use this as a fill. So if you are on Zoom and you're in the living room, there's ambient light around, you want to add a little bit of fill, then you can use something like a micro like this to definitely add fill. And I think that's kind of how Hobo Light markets this as kind of a content creator, like a mini thing, but I would use this as kind of a fun, look at that. I mean, just leave that there and look how cool that looks. Looks like a little mini, it's a little mini cob light. And then again, if you face it backwards this way here, add a little bit of fun to it. Face it this way here, like that. You can just kind of move this around anywhere you want, including, as I mentioned, you can just kind of have it off the side here and just have fun with it and add more layers to your lighting. As I mentioned, I have a little lamp here. If I turn on this lamp, see how that now changes things a little bit? And then move this back here. 
There you go. This is my first look at the Hobo Light Micro. I think it's great. I would recommend if you don't already have one, get their little stand. This is the, the creator kit. Go to the website, there's tons of accessories. Some of them are interchangeable with the mini, like the stands. Other ones, like the diffusers and stuff, they're actually specifically made for this and as well as this magnetic barn doors, which I hope that maybe the mini can get a magnetic barn door. I think that's a really great idea. And then as well, maybe having adapters. You can adapt some of the mini, uh, like the, the soft box, and then be able to attach this. But uh, tons of accessories you can get. The standard kit, the creator's kit. And if you are a contact creator and you want something kind of fun and playful, interchangeable batteries, I think this is a good option. So thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. I mean, i got to grab my camera. I'll be right back. I can't end off without using the light. So let's uh, put this back on. All right. As I mentioned, long press, right? Easy to turn on, press the button, turn it, it's on. Now we got some, look at that. All right, so thank you so much for watching and happy shooting. Peace.